I have an intro video now. That's weird. I just wanted to give you a tour, although the studio is not 100% ready. It's like 75 ready. We have a really nice sturdy bar here. My dad installed it and if my dad installs anything uh, you know it is very secure and it is not going anywhere. I could probably hang off of this and it would still support me and it would not budge. I did lay down some Marley but as you can see it's lumpy on the edges and it does not cover the whole floor. So I need to get a second piece to cover the whole floor and maybe redo this section because as you can see, it's all lumpy on the corners and uh, I'm like afraid to dance on the corners. So I'm dancing really shallow. You know, I'm dancing like close to the wall and I keep kicking the bar. And speaking of kicking stuff, this light fixture, it's kind of low and I frequently bump it or kick it whenever a limb goes in the air. So that is not safe. Uh, you know, this was a bedroom. This was a regular old bedroom. It was not designed to be a studio. So I'm still figuring out things as I go and finding things that I need to adjust. Also, this is going to be the mirror wall. Right now I just have one tiny little mirror and I can't see much. Uh, I can't, I can't see much of what is going on. You know, I rely on the mirror, not just for body corrections and alignment and, you know, all that stuff, but I also rely heavily on the mirror for like proprioception and spatial awareness. You know, I'm not quite used to this room yet. So, you know, I would use the mirror to see like how much further can I go until I hit the wall um, instead of having to like look around behind me. If I do a tutorial, it might be a little later in the afternoon because these windows, as you can see, get a lot of bright light. These windows are facing east. So in the morning, the sun is shining right through here. And there's a little bit of a glare. So I might wait until the sunlight kind of passes over the house a little bit and then just use the indoor light, although the indoor light is really, really warm, really orange, which is kind of strange because I got these bright blue walls and this really harsh orange light. Uh, maybe Steve can find some cool white lights. Um, also, I don't know if you can hear, uh, the acoustics in this room are terrible. <laughs> I have a really like harsh, echoey voice. Maybe that will change as I like decorate the walls a little bit. I do have some artwork that I want to hang on some of the walls and you know, I might hang a tutu somewhere just so that it's not like crushed up in a box, but maybe we'll figure something else out. Like maybe Steve will give me a little like, you know, lavalier to keep on my leotard or maybe I'll just keep like a small microphone over there by the bar so you just hear my voice and you don't hear all of this echo. Other than that, I do think it's a decent space. You know, it's way better than the tiny little slab of wood that I was trying to dance on in my apartment in Queens. Like that was, that, that was no good. That was just accidents waiting to happen. And they did happen. I sprained my ankle trying to, uh, dance in quarantine in Queens. I could even have multiple people stand at this bar. I think it could comfortably fit three people. So me and two friends, if I ever have two of my dancer friends spend a weekend here with me, we could do some classes and do some rehearsing. Me personally, the two big things that are bothering me right now is this lumpy side of the Marley and just not having the whole floor be Marley. So even though I have all this space, when I tried to take a ballet class, I'm only dancing like right here on the smooth part and right underneath the light, which is inconvenient. So um, a few adjustments need to be made, obviously. And of course I would, I would appreciate having wall to wall, floor to ceiling mirrors, at least on this wall. So it's getting there. Um, it's not perfect yet, but it's it's like 75% perfect. 
So I'm probably ready to make tutorials that can be done at the bar or like something standing in one place. I could probably get into that pretty quickly. But as far as like anything big, dancey, jumping across the floor, choreography tutorials, those things might have to wait until the floor situation is a little bit safer. So that's it. I was just giving you the heads up. Thanks for watching and maybe I will see you soon. I will see you soon in a tutorial. Stay salty.